Hello everyone, I'm Shruti Rupa Banerjee. I work under WAF Research at Qualys and I'm InfoSec Girls Chapter Lead for Pune. So here I am uh, talking about my journey in InfoSec and how did everything happen. So basically, uh, I never thought that uh, I would ever get into InfoSec. I did not even know that there is, you know, a domain as uh, InfoSec, information security, because I was doing graduation in maths and I had zero knowledge about tech, uh, technology or any programming language or anything. So I was doing maths from uh, maths honors from Calcutta University. And at that time, there was one question in my mind, like, uh, why was I studying that? Like anything that was uh, that we were reading, we were studying or we were writing, we were, you know, solving. Why were we doing this? Where are we using these things? And that thing was, you know, a kind of barrier to me because I could not visualize. And those things were not quite easy. You know, the things that we used to do in our uh, grad uh, school times, which were just, you will be given a sum and you'll just solve it. Right now, we, you had to do a lot of thinking. We did not have many numbers. We had a lot of alphabet alphabets to deal with. Anyway, somehow my path changed. My life took a small turn where as uh, we all have our own journey and struggle and everyone has, uh, everyone's life is a kind of roller coaster ride in their own way. So my roller coaster took another turn and there I start and I decided to do masters in um, master of master of science in computer science. Uh, computer applications, sorry, from Symbiosis International University, Pune. So I came to Pune and uh, well, everyone in my class knew they were, except for one or two, rest of them were all aware of what was happening. For an entire semester, I was very confused, like what was I studying, what is what was happening. Luckily, my friends were helpful, the professors were helpful and we had Google. So, and I had always been a studious student, student, studious person. So I would keep doing, I would keep on trying to, you know, practicing and try understanding what is happening, what was happening at that time. So by the time I was in second semester, I decided to become a network administrator and I started studying, preparing for CCNA. And then by the time I was in third semester, I got introduced to the subject cryptography and I loved that subject. So I decided to deep dive into the concept and that too was because of one project that we were given. And I was reading about, uh, I was just going through what am I supposed, what was I supposed to do in my project and all. And I realized that the subject is written in, um, in the language of maths and that to that maths was used, which I had studied in my graduation. And finally, my answers were, my questions were answered and I could relate to what I used to do. And then I realized that this entire InfoSec is based on maths and that to on a, you know, somehow based on prime number. And that was the moment when I decided to do my research on cryptography and I started studying about all these things. Then I got introduced to blockchain, smart contracts, and um, these things are interlinked, right? So somewhere I came to know about InfoSec also and I started studying what was happening. In fact, in my, uh, in my master's also, we had the subject. So there also I had some idea, but I never realized what we, what were we doing? Why do we have to hack? Why are we studying about these things? Then later I understood why, you know, doing research on the subject, then understanding each and every aspect, then understanding what, what is OWASP top 10. Then there are so many things. It is just not uh, linked to web application. There are many other aspects. And here I am right now exploring each and every domain, learning every new thing other than the ones that I could understand. And right now I'm focusing on any uh, other things also. So my journey has been a roller coaster ride and every time it takes a turn and it never worked according to my plan. So I always make sure that I study and I do research on what I uh, want to do. 
also apart from that i love what i'm currently doing and i'm quite happy about it and one thing that that i would like to say is that make sure that whatever you are doing you are enjoying that not just for the sake of money you are doing but make sure that you are passionate about it and trust me though i am passionate about this um, inf uh, information security blockchain cryptography i do make sure that i give some time to my you know hobbies and everything that i want to do that is different from information security so one pro tip that i would like to give uh, because this is cyber security month after all um and you should always follow is think think before clicking on any link think before you know answering uh, giving any kind of information to anyone over phone uh, or in person anywhere this pro tip is not just related to information security but in your real life too it is applicable at that point of time whatever you do whatever action you perform make sure that you think you analyze what you're doing what you're thinking about what is what is going on what the scenario is you know the first step uh, that we always learn is uh, enumeration right now don't do enumeration but yes there is some kind of um, analyzing that we do like we obviously analyze at that point of time and this is something you should be doing every time uh, before doing before clicking on any link before uh, answering any kind of uh, you know answering any details that have been asked before downloading or installing an application before giving permission to any application like you need to think you need to analyze why are you giving permission you know permission for accessing your location or your images or your videos to any application does that application need it or not so that would be my uh, tip from my end and take care everyone thank you astha for this amazing opportunity where i could speak about myself a bit and give a pro tip that i always make sure that i'm following and thank you so much take care